what was it like when you arrived in Cambodia? Oh. Do you remember the first, <laughs> absolutely. first days? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Got out at uh, the, the airport at Ponchantom um, in, in Phnom Penh, and uh, it was stinking hot and it's smelly. Um, I remember the smells really strongly. Uh, what did it smell like? Oh, just that, the, you know, the, the smoke in the air, um, the, the Asia, <laughs> all the Asian smells, all those unfamiliar smells um, that we don't have here. The f no fresh, clean air that was, was hazy and it was hot and sticky and the perspiration immediately began to run down your back um, and drag your stuff off and pick it up and being met. But there's a whole group of other people on the tarmac, on just standing in the shade, who we sort of thought were there to meet us, but they didn't want to have anything to do with us. Nothing to do with us because they were getting on that plane. They were getting on the same plane we were getting off, the chartered plane. No other guys going home. They didn't want to look at us. Um, and we were all there bright and breezy and chirpy and ready to go. And they were tired. They were going home. They'd been there, there six, 12 months, some of them. And they were really tired, people going home. I saw the chaplain um, and said hello to him. Really tired. Really tired. Yeah, but soon, soon the reality of of uh, living in the tropical heat and and adapting and getting rashes and all the other <laughs> all the other stuff. Um, yeah, that was so. My first impression was was uh, uh, in Cambodia was the, was the heat and the the smells. I think. So mm. when did you arrive? I think it was the fifteenth of March, nineteen ninety three.